DFU util, no DFU cable USB device available, failed uploading, uploading error, exit status 74. I just got some new Arduino Nano ESP32 units. They're pretty cool, but I've been running into this error when I'm trying to upload code. Maybe you're having the same issue. Let's troubleshoot it right now. So according to the Arduino website, the reason this error can happen is if the IDE cannot find the selected board on the port or if the port is not selected. So basically what they're saying is maybe you didn't select the right board or the right port and that's why you're getting this error. Now that wasn't my case, but let's just walk through this to see if this might be the issue. So make sure your board is connected to your computer. Not that I've ever forgotten that. And then go up to tools, board, down to ESP32, and then I found mine all the way down at the bottom, Arduino Nano ESP32. So that's the board you'd wanna select. And then for the port, you wanna select the one that says Arduino Nano ESP32. So another way to select the board and port in Arduino IDE 2.0 is just to click on this drop down at the top and go to select other board and port. And then under boards, you can search for the Arduino ESP32 board, Arduino Nano ESP32 board. There it is, Arduino Nano ESP32 board, and you should see your ports listed. And then once you've done that, you should be able to upload to the board. But the issue I was having is when I would get this no DFU exit status 74 error, my board wouldn't even show up again. Like I couldn't select the port because it wasn't even there. So what I had to do was put the Arduino Nano ESP32 into bootloader mode. And to do that, you simply double click the reset button kind of quick. When the board goes into bootloader mode, it's basically just sitting in standby waiting for you to upload new code. And you'll notice that it's got this RGB LED on there that's gonna like fade in and fade out with different colors. So that'll let you know that, hey, it's in this bootloader mode. So now it's just waiting for you to upload a sketch. So once the Arduino Nano ESP32 is in bootloader mode, hopefully your port's gonna show up. So now if you just go to this drop down, or you know, you go to tools, port, either or, you should see your port show up. What you're also gonna to wanna to do at this point is make sure that the correct board has been selected because sometimes your Arduino IDE will auto-select a board and sometimes that auto-selection isn't correct. So just verify that you've got the uh, right one selected over here on the left-hand side. There it is, yep, I've got that ticked off. Hit okay and now you should be able to upload to your board again. Now a quick note, if you had your Arduino Nano ESP32 in bootloader mode, you know, by double clicking the reset button, and then you uploaded code. You may have to press the reset button once after the code has been uploaded in order for your new sketch to start running. Because what can happen is you can upload the code, it actually works, but then you don't see your Arduino doing anything. Hit that reset button one more time, and then your sketch should start running. You may or may not have to do that. I found in a couple cases I did, so I just wanted to mention it. You'll also notice that sometimes when you connect your Arduino Nano ESP32, the IDE will show this additional port here. Mine shows up as 20-2 USB DFU, which stands for Device Firmware Update or Upgrade or Upchuck, something like that. Whatever it stands for, this is not the port that you wanna select. You wanna select the other port that shows up. Okay, well, hopefully that fixes your errors. Now, let's say that you're still getting that error. Uh, you're ready to take a knife and just, ah, or you just want to like karate chop your Arduino Nano ESP32. But all's not lost. So here's what I'd recommend if you're still having troubles at this point. Close your Arduino IDE. And if you happen to have Arduino IDE 1 and 2 installed, close both of the Arduino IDEs. Make sure that your Arduino Nano ESP32 is plugged in. Then open up the Arduino IDE again, take out a chicken claw, scratch the Nano, and then hopefully you'll see your Arduino Nano board show up. Now, once you've vanquished this error, the next thing I recommend you do is check out this video right here. It's a masterclass on learning how to program with Arduino code. So if you wanna get up and running making your own electronics projects, check this out. It's gonna be super helpful.